Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Bungle Collects. We're working our way through the package of the DC Coin World International sent us. These are the, the last two items in there. Let's uh, let's get into it. Right, so we're going to go through this little bunch here. I'm going to leave it for Lady M to do the pronunciation because I cannot uh, I cannot pronounce what it actually says. So Lady M, what did DC Coin World say about this little package? So it said it's some Irish large penny in the pigeon, hens and chicks, chick coins wrapped in coin sewers, Hibernian Enterprises torn cover sheet from the collector's book. So right. Easy for, easier for you to say than me because... I think it's already open at that end. Oh, is it? Yeah. So it's basically a page out of the collector's book. No, it's not open. Oh, right. Do you oh, want oh, to just pull the coins up. out and then... Oh, I'll... to rip, that's why. Yeah, yeah. I'll... No, no, it's okay. Trust me, I'm an careful. expert when it comes to such fine engineering. Mm. So, I, so I think... No, no, so I think he's saying that the, the coins are wrapped up in the pages of the book that talk about the coins. So, oh yeah, they're split open in transit. So let's have a little look at this. Right, okay, that makes sense there now. So Irish coins, Irish free state coins. On Easter Monday, 1916, the whole course of Irish history changed when a group of insurgents overran the general post office in Dublin and proclaimed the establishment of a pro provisional government for the Irish Republic. Wow. So that's a bit of history right there in our hands. It looks quite an old, uh, quite an old book as well, or an old, an old cover. So, champion. Right, let's see what we've got. Oh, they're all, they're all pigeons, aren't they? Ah, oh, yes, they are. No, they're all, they're all pigeons. We're going to have a wonderful day at one here, I think, Lady M. Do you know much about the pigeon? Pigeonorama? No, I do not. Only, only that you've, we've, we have had some before, haven't we? And I do know it's a chicken with some chicks. I think it's a hen. What's the difference? Don't know. We better ask the, better ask the hen. Right. I don't know. So that's a that's a whole range of pigeons. And what Let's, came first? The pigeon or the hen? Yeah. <laughs> Let's have a little look because I'll have all different years on. So we'll have a little tidy through and put these into a into a date run and see what we've got. Right. So I know that there is some subtle differences between uh, between the two. So mm. we've got that one. I mean that one's that one's quite quite different if you compare that one from the 1930s with one from the 1940s you can see that, that it's got air on it in 1940 on the side whereas that doesn't have air on it it's got and it's got the 19 and the 31 on either side of the half look oh, so you've got yeah. the date here 1931 here it's written down there mm -hmm. and the other looks similar to the same size you've got that kind of pearl yeah around the uh, around the outside is the half the same looks very similar obviously this one on the one on my left the 1931 is worn away slightly there's some great yeah. detail on this one on my right hand is, side yeah. you really can see quite a bit of detail there on that one actually so, yeah i don't look, think look, there's... look can you see the, all this detail amongst the on the half yeah unless it's know. worn off on that side yeah these ones don't have that detail on no i think it's worn off lady worn off. i think so because you can see some element of detail look there's something there's something in here oh, and there's a little bit of something oh, in there yeah. so as though it's yes there, i think it's just worn off given it's, uh, yeah, it's given age. its age absolutely i think i'd be pretty worn out if i was uh, that old so you've got the 1D there for one old pence. Pinjin. That's how I pronounce it anyway. So you've got the you've got the hen and the chicks. So there's a three. So four chicks there. One, two, three, four chicks underneath. Possibly. Don't know. I've got the artist initials down here. So a big massive chunky old one piece. So what did we have? 31, 33. 40, 41, 42, 43, 48, 52, oh, didn't look at that one, 63, 64, 
65, 66, 67, and 68. And I think that's probably, I think the 68 is probably, oh, I wasn't sure, I wasn't zoomed out there, whoops. And I think the 68 is probably the best condition. Yeah. So we'll see if you can see some of the detail there. But no, amazing. The, the, the Irish coins have got animals on, there's, uh, they've got pigs on, I've seen, a, I've seen a pig one. Cool. Other bits and other animals on as well. Got the harp, I'm sure that the, the harp has got a certain number of strings and on other, other Irish coins, the harps have got less strings on, or more strings on, depending which one, which coin it is. But no, great. It's like the Guinness harp, doesn't it? So it's it does. synonymous with uh, synonymous with, uh, with, uh, with Ireland, Republic of Ireland. Amazing. So yeah, look at that, little date, little date runner pigeons and uh, a bit of history in a in the page of a book. Right, let's oh. have a look the uh those those Irish ones that went over to America. There's a little bit of a link here, so we've got a little coin roll here. Of uh, of quarters. So ten ten dollars worth of quarters like it was originally, so yeah. paper coin rolls if you see the, the these are amazing new that the, the tightly packed in mm -hmm. the folders over you can have a look and have a look see if there's an ender in it so the the ones on either end so you get a special ender they call it so if you get like a i don't know it might be a, a buffalo nickel or something like that or you might get a um on a quarter you might see a steak quarter or something like right. that and you, you have a look at the end to see whether you've got a special a special ender before you open them and you, you unroll them from the top and the bottom and then you can just peel them open and uh, and out they come so this one is obviously being pre-opened it's not completely full it did get damaged in transit so we had to put some of them back in and let's see what uh, let's see what beauties we've uh, we've got in here so it looks like we've got a mixture of state and park quarters what's the official name for the park quarters dc coinwell did mention it in his letter uh beautiful america or something isn't it america the beautiful i can't find the letter We'll just pause now for some sponsorship from our American friends, Shaws. You're in for something fresh. <laughs> Only kidding, I'm just trying to find the letter. Mm. That's just the plastic bag that came uh, copied in. Uh, I also threw in a number of US quarters from the 50 State Series and the America the Beautiful Series. So I think that's what we call the, the State Quarters, the Park Quarters. Yes, we'll get straight into the bear. We're a massive fan of bears on this channel. We are a, a bear channel. Alaska, look at that, the great land. 2008, that is amazing, that isn't it? The bear yeah. with, it, with the, is it a salmon or a trout in its mouth? It'll be a salmon, I reckon. Philadelphia mint there, the P mint mark. That is already gonna be the plum fine, Lady M. I love that coin. That is absolutely amazing. Oh, well, you've took its space. Well, I was just, I don't think they're in any particular order. Well, should put, we'll put them into state and park quarters, because okay, the, the, well, the the, the park quarters have got that kind of ring around the outside, whereas the, oh, the, the, state, right. the state ones haven't. Okay. So, put the state ones there. Oh, what about that one? That's a bit of a... No, that's Texas. That's, that's a... uh, definitely a state quarter. Right, we're in some kind of uh, order there, I think. So we've got the we've got the Bear of Alaska, we've got a Massachusetts there. That one two thousand. The Bear State. Amazing. I'd love it if they did did cities of the UK. Yeah. I know a few people have said about uh, oh there's Maine. That'll be uh, close to DC Coin World's heart, I'm sure. They talked about maybe doing the, the, the counties of England on 50 pences, doing that as a series. Counties don't really do it for me, but I'd certainly collect towns and cities. New Jersey, look at that, I've never seen that one before. Stunning. Delaware, the first state, 1999. Philadelphia, Minnesota, the, 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 there's a whole different, there's Texas. So different states have different coins depending on what year they came out. So you might have the same, the same, the same coin in the same, in a, with a different mint mark as well. There's Virginia with some boats on. I won't pretend to be able to see what that says in there. Quad, quad, quadra, quadra sentinel. God, I can't say that. That must be 400 years. If bicentennial is 200 years, quad centennial, centennial. <laughs> must be 400 years. 400 years of Jamestown. 
Hundred years of Virginia, maybe. No, don't know. Mary, oops. Maryland. We should do a bungle collect on tour, lady, and but across America, going to every single state. So we've done. By the time this video uploads, our um, bungle collects on tour for the A to Z adventures will be will be up, and it'll be well in where we've gone to every every letter on the alphabet, ten p, around the country. How cool would it be to do a, a, an was American? That, one? that was Tennessee. Tennessee. How cool would it be to do an American state? One go to every American state and yeah. find where the uh, oh. or find something relevant to these states. Get into that one. That is Utah. Utah, yeah, that would be phenomenal, wouldn't it? We've done that one. Have I done New Jersey? Yeah. You said you've never seen that one before. All oh, right, I've definitely seen it now. <laughs> I'm doing them in order. Have I? Oklahoma. Bird on there for you like that, do you? Yeah, I do. Look at that Montana there. Grr. Yeah. Big sky country. Amazing, stunning. To say, I wish we had them on our maybe it's on our twenty pences. That would be cool, wouldn't yeah, it? Yeah, it would. Also, to have something else to look for. So these are the, the park quarters at America the Beautiful. There's Theodore Roosevelt. So hopefully I didn't make a four par in the last uh, in the last video. So what's that from? Where's that one from? Oh, I can't. Uh, uh, North Dakota, I think. Right. Missouri. So they're the states, but I'm not going to be able to pronounce the the other the other stuff on there. So I was just trying to gloss over that lady, but you've you've, you've oh, basically okay. uh, shamed me now. People now know that I can't pronounce anything. Might so have probably that already. So that last one was Ozark Riverways. That one is Kisachi. We've had some of these before, haven't we? These coins. I recognise these these park quarters. Blue Ridge Parkway. We uh, we did we actually did a, a White bungle. Mountain. We actually did a bungle collects from from Las Vegas, didn't we? We did. What's that say? Where we went through. Uh, Harper's Ferry, what's that say? In West Virginia. Yeah, we actually did a, we, we went to Las Vegas and we did a bungle collects from our hotel room there. It's had about 68 views. Uh, not sure, I don't think so. It's had about 68 views in total. It was up, it's been up well over a year. No one, no one was interested in our quarters. Hopefully they'll be interested in, uh, hopefully they'll be interested in, in this one because it's of where it's coming. It's part of that little mini series from, from DC Coin World. I've got to thank DC Coin World. I think it's been absolute and amazing. Uh, it's been an honour really to go through the, the the coins that you've sent us, and it's been nice getting to know you. And sorry, our parcel took so long to get to you. It took I think it was twenty eight days, I think, getting on for a month to get across the pond. So glad that it got there in the end. And that's if you haven't seen DC Coin World, do go over and uh, have a look at his channel. Very knowledgeable guy. He's got loads and loads of information on a whole range of different coins. Sent by a pigeon carrier. Yeah, I was yeah, it did take a while. Went went over on a rowboat, I think DC Coin World uh, <laughs> pr pronounced it. So yeah. so yes. So if you want to know more about DC Coin World, you'll see something in here somewhere. Subscribe to his channel. If you're new to this channel, please do subscribe. You'll see our um our logo on there as well. Do click that. And uh, thanks very much for watching. It's been a great series and we'll see you in the next episode.